topics and opinions expressed in the following show are solely those of the hosts and their guests and not those of W4CY Radio, its employees, or affiliates. We make no recommendations or endorsements for radio show programs, services, or products mentioned on air or on our web. No liability, explicit or implied, shall be extended to W4CY Radio or its employees or affiliates. Any questions or comments should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for choosing W4CY Radio. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to The Laws of Empowering Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Blanca, and the founder of The Laws of Life platform, and I'm here with my amazing co-host, Natan Verkovsky, founder of The Essential Academy, which I'm very honored to be an instructor of and a member of the advisory board and have already created two courses within the Essential Academy and have met entrepreneurs from all over the world through Natan's platform. How long um, have you had your platform now, Natan? Well, this month in the end of July, 2022, we'll celebrate two full years. That's incredible. So we have a party coming up then. We have a heck of a party in a couple of weeks coming up and there's a good 400 of them. 30 of us invited so far. (laughs) That is incredible. Well, the circle of entrepreneurs has helped increase my business. It's increased my network. And uh, for example, uh, taking on Tony Kaufman is a result of the Essential Academy connectivity. And um, it's just been an honor and a pleasure. And everybody that's in the Essential Academy is amazing. And tonight, this morning, Our guest of honor is no exception to that rule. We have an extraordinarily special guest today, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. Her name is Svetlana Verkovsky, and she is an instant medical clinical state hypnotist and a full blast entertainer. She Mm -hmm. has the ability to stop pain in its tracks. And she can do that with medical hypnotic skills. This can help us with sleep disorders, relationship issues, help you find your inner soul and love yourself. And she's been doing this for 30 years. Uh, Svetlana is also a lifetime instructor at the Essential Academy and the creator of the course, Becoming Fearless. If that's not enough, she's also a master concert pianist and happens to be your proud mother. Let's welcome Lana Burkowski. Hello. Hello, everybody. Very happy to be here with you. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling super. (laughs) All in. The energy is in. Whatever I can give, all yours. So clearly, you have an incredible amount of master medical hypnotherapy skills. How did you develop these skills? The skills? How did you develop them? I travel all over the world. I was very lucky when my husband uh, became uh, director of creation of the Salé uh, division. And so uh, I we travel. We travel absolutely everywhere. Maybe two months a year, we were at home. So I've been everywhere except Vietnam and Alaska. So I wow. learned that culture, and I was working with shamans. I was working with intuitive, um, incredible voices of the universe. I work with doctors, surgeons, and then later on, it becomes my profession. That's incredible, and you've been doing this for 30, 30 years. Now, in your opinion, is this something that can be taught, or is it a natural gift, or a combination? Yeah, I, I think you're very clever and you to the point. It is combination. And intellect is something that we discover as we live. And the more we discover, the more we open all sorts of options to be intellectual humans, which is so much better than not. And natural is, yes. Uh, I remember being at home four years old uh, when my daddy arrived from work 
and he came and he said no he was going mm, like that mm. and i said oh, you have your toothache right there and he said how did you know don't tell mom don't tell. i remember how he said don't tell mom whatever you do because mom was sent him to the doctor so he would sit at the table and i said i can fix it he said okay don't tell mom and somehow i went inside with my little fingers and whatever i did changed his vibrations the vibrations were much above that the pain was created for him and inflammation syndrome until this day i i don't know how to explain that but i feel i feel sensation on the internet i feel sensation when i see photo i feel sensation and vibrations when i talk to somebody i can walk in in the room i can walk in in the room and spot right away the person i want to be with or not at all that that is incredible you're you're and that you got this gift at such a young age it's just it's un Believable. Now, what would you say is your biggest success story as a medical hypnotherapist? Beating the cancer, surviving several death experiences, myself, Oof. personally, myself, putting eight implants with a deck and, deck and decker through the teeth without drop, losing off blood, no anesthesia, medical hypnosis so bravo to intellect bravo the knowledge and definitely bravo to nature form that i've got to be able to pass over on people create the channels and funnels for their being well for being being the best you can be to yourself well i have to say just getting to know you has changed my life and we're just getting started. We're going to celebrate the new Laws of Life Roku channel. And then we're going to dig deeper with Alana. And you're going to learn a lot more about her. So we'll be right back. with Svetlana Berkovsky and, of course, my incredible co-host, Natan. We're getting to know Lana's background as a medical hypnotherapist for over 30 years. And if anybody has any questions that's watching, you know, please feel free to drop a comment. So, Natan, I mean, I have to ask you a question. Okay. How did it feel growing up with this extraordinary woman as your mom? Mm, surrounded by love. Very loving. Did I bet she told really good stories at night, didn't she? Is she a good storyteller? Very much so. We get to hear about the old country and family and what happened and all these cool little fun stories. So obviously you being the healer that you are, an energy healer, but also a digital entrepreneur, I can assume that your mother influenced you to become an energy healer. Was she a massive influence? Was How do you see her role in that, in that journey of yours? So I was a life insurance salesman and was probably doing about 80 to 100 hours a week and was on the edge of burnout. And then when I did have like a nervous breakdown at 24 and need to completely rebuild myself, I broke up with my fiance, lost the house, the car, the keys, the motorbike, the laptop, the business, and, you know, got the engagement ring back, moved back into 25 in my mom's. And she was a medical hypnotherapist with about $10,000 of books and videos and all these cool things in her library. So as a guy who's going through, you know, depression and not having a lot of good times and stuff, when your life turns to crap, you immerse yourself in work. And I didn't like my old work. So I didn't want to be somebody that just, you know, makes $100,000 in a day. I'm like, yeah, that's a stockbroker. He starts with $2 million, He moves it. He makes $2.1 million. 
he made a profit of a hundred grand. Good for him. I'm like, what if I was a brain surgeon? I can make a hundred thousand dollars in a day and I wouldn't need to spend that money in order to feel it. I just know that I did good. That made me feel it. And that's what made me think maybe I want to be a medical hypnotherapist. So back in 1997, because I was at home, because of that state that was in, in my life, I was exposed to the library. I started jumping into it. She was able to help me get certified over at the medical hypnotherapy Institute in, um, um, Phoenix, Arizona with Dr. Michael Preston. And then my dad was able to say, okay, you spent a couple months doing this. You got some basics. Come with me to Cirque du Soleil. And I'm like, to do what? And he's like, come talk to some athletes. Come talk to some experts. Come see. And before I knew it, I started doing mental, physical, and emotional drills with Olympians from around the world and sports teams and just getting exposed to peak performance at that incredible level. And that's what helped me become an energy coach. So, yeah. Wow, that's 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 in, in, incredible. Now, as the founder of the academy, Lana Burkowski is an instructor in the academy and has a course um, that is about. She's an instructor, but she's also a co-director. So, in Canada, when you're a not-for-profit, you need three directors. The other two directors, besides myself, are my wife and my mom. That's beautiful. I love it. So. That one- that feminine energy with mine. <laughs> I think you're a very wise man. I think you're a very wise man. So what does your course look like, Lana? What is it about and how is it helping people? It's a footprints on the brain, fearless. That's mean anything, it's a sensory experience. It's, uh, it's reshape adult's brain into positive energy because we somehow uh, have a magnet to get some negative thought or whatever, negative wisdom, (laughs) you know? Like whatever the adults do, sometimes we're not doing it in purpose. We do because other people did it and we just repeat that. So I I bring sensory experience to clear your path, to create your tunnel, to turn the lights on and to make you through without interruptions, without negative experiences, with being, with not being neurotic, feeling like, oh, can I do it? Oh my God, I'm afraid. Fear is not exist. It's an illusion. It's a very powerful illusion that people around us seems to me forget that it's just like one, two, three, gone, no longer there. So you got to be total crazy person to bring mm. that illusion back and to scare yourself for what reason we gotta empower ourselves that's exactly what Nathan does he he changed his life he figured out how to move forward and never look back that's the point of life so footprints on the brain is what fearless program is Personal- well, it's very powerful. It's an eight week program. I've placed the link on the screen. You can purchase the course there. Lana is also offering a complimentary 30 minute one on one, but she's not really one to look at the clock. She's very generous with her time. Um, but obviously, I will tell you that I've had now two sessions with Lana in the last two weeks, and it has been a life changing. This is a testimonial. This is, this is the honest truth. It has been life changing. And I've also had sessions with Natan that were also extraordinary and they have similar styles. Um, but one of the things that I would say, um, I, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what the secret is. Well, one of the few people who have actually gone under hypnosis therapy, both from myself and my mom. There's very few people that we share as a common client, right, Mom? Ooh, right, right, right. We don't <laughs> listen to your intuitive voice. No, and no. I mean, we don't. We don't have any one client that both of us have hypnotized. That's what I'm saying. Never. I think Blanca is one. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, I think you're the first. So you get to give an interesting insight. We're by all. What is the difference in style between the two of us? Well, first there's the masculine and the feminine. Right. So right, right there, that's that's the first difference. Um, the similarities are both of your, I'm realizing that 
a key element to this successful coaching and the session is tonality and the sound of the voice. I happen to love both of your voices. I find them, I mean, candidly, they're both full of love. I think there's a lot of passage of love and support and confidence during the session. And even me as a motivational speaker, inspirational educator and a talk show host, I need it. If I need it, if it's an, and this is not a luxury, this is a need. And if, if I need it, I'd have to imagine that there are millions of people out there that need this. And, um, you know, it started with Sunny teaching me about meditation the last two years. I worked with a life coach for two years. And now I feel like I'm evolving by working with both of you. Um, I would say that you're more similar than different. Um, but I would say love is at the core of both of your methodologies and patience. Um, there's no, there's no rushing. There's, you know, it's just, it's just, uh, a very calming, very life changing. And I know it's only going to grow as I do more sessions. So I'm looking forward to seeing the evolution of how I progress. And if you go to the course link on the screen, You'll also see two other very powerful testimonials, uh, people that have worked with Lana, and you can hear how strong their experience is. And Lana also uh, works as an entertainer in the hypnosis. So she's she's been on cruise ship. She's been on many, many shows. So there's different ways um, that you can work with Lana and collaborate with Lana and I have to say, it's just another example, Natan, of you lighting up my world with our friendship. You know, it's such the every single person that I have met through Natan has been magical, literally. And Lana, you are magical, 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 magical. And um, both of you are. So it's just, I feel really, really blessed. I feel like it's a gift from God that both of you are in my life. And I feel like I have fa more family now. That's how I feel. I wanted to say that developing and allowing intuition into your life. You see, intuition is the natural state of living being. And when there is no blocks, it is in an instant. Instinct. Instinct. It's something that it's like as precious to us as an animal instinct. And that's in your eyes. That's power. That's passion. That's energy. Vibration. That's what we go. We're opening to our intuitive voice. Working with the footprints on the brain. How else? Absolutely. But with respect to let, let's 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 um let's break down. Let's do this. Let's take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, I want to talk about how medical hypnotherapy therapy helps with sleep relationship building and the other addictions categories of categories of pain that people possess so let's um let's take a minute and just give a shout out to the law office of tim Morecki. he does personal injury law in the state of florida he also does trust litigation real estate work he covers the entire state of Florida. He is the diamond sponsor of the laws of life and has been for the last three years. So if anyone out there is in need of an attorney in the state of Florida, you can call Tim and we'll place his number on the screen. It's 561-847-2868. So let's go ahead and reset the show. We are here on the Laws of Empowering Entrepreneurs with myself, Blanca, the founder of the Laws of Life platform, and Natan Burkowski, the founder of the Essential Academy. Our guest is medical hypnotherapist Svetlana Burkowski. So, Lana, let's break it down. You have a you have a client, they cannot sleep. They say that over 60% of Americans have trouble sleeping at night. How can medical hypnotherapy help? Number one. You create self-hypnosis. Now, what self-hypnosis is you allow yourself to stop whatever you do, leave the room where you work or whatever your needs are, 
and go mm -hmm. into peaceful environments. Lay down, sit down, start play with your nostrils. Take a left and then release the breath, right and then release the breath. Start doing massages. I work with Qigong before I go to sleep. I wake up with Qigong, I go to sleep with Qigong in the middle of the day, powerful walk to release the stress, to, to clear the energy, and as well do Qigong, couple of masters. Now, what I mean by Qigong is breathing through your left nostril, which activates your right brain and intuitive capacity. That's what you do. Now, hold your right nostril close and breathe. That's all it is. And then lie on the right side and breathe. So you activate your brain and you recharge your energy at the same time. Nathan is excellent. He can take a cat nap. Me, no. Unless I, I don't. But I work. Um, I sit down or I lay down. And five to seven to ten minutes max, I go into space. I work with the angels. They clear my body. They clear my spirit. I can bop. No problem. You can call me at 10 at night, 11 at night. I'll be the same. No difference. You mm -hmm. won't see me being exhausted because I work with my energy refuse. Oh, so you what know she said before when she was talking about the executive, uh, the, the nap ability? It's because I take an executive nap. I'm sure you do those. You take a double shot of espresso. <sighs> You set your alarm for 15 yeah. minutes because that's how long it takes for caffeine to hit your body. Exactly. You go lay down, you close your eyes. 15 minutes later, you completely feel rested. Right when the caffeine hits, you wake up and go. Yeah. That's, and it's, ah, it's that's an executive nap. That's one of your inspiring, empowering entrepreneur tips for the day. Enjoy. And, and the funny thing is you're allowing, you allowing your intuition. You're developing that channel that what you do, what you will have, and how you arrive, all three in one. So, oh, you, you simply, when people don't have time, you go to the bathroom and you chant, and you chant your mantra. Um, by the time your energy is finished, your brain connected to the body. You no longer have anxiety for whatever the reason you had. So millions of things, you know, like it's... Um, so let me it ask you this. Sense. That, no, that's amazing. So how many sessions do you generally need to work with someone to help them with the sleep disorder? Is this something that that you can teach these skills in one session? Do they need to be with you for six sessions? What's your general observation? Depends on age. Depends on what person left, uh, experience already in their life. Like if the person lost the baby and just have a trauma. So I work with a trauma situation, not working, automatically working with the uh, behavior pattern. I work with behavior patterns. So there is no limit to it. It's up to you. Uh, if you want to be done, how, do you, how well do you want to be done? Now let's talk about physical pain. Physical pain, someone's had a surgery. That's easy. They're going that's through therapy. Easy. How do you help them with that? How does that's this work? Very, that's very, very easy for me. We have two hands. I can work in my master uh, hypnotherapy. I show you personally, only once in your life, that one hand in the same body can be icy cold and the other steaming hot. Now, if that can be done through your mind to your own body, guess what? You can illuminate anything when you go to dentist or when you just had an operation. Oh, I, I had operation five organs removed. Guess what? Six weeks later, I was in Israel walking through the mountains, swimming six weeks after total operation, five hours uh, long. What I'm saying, recovery is right here. So is the preparation. So is the life. So is that we here not for the life sentence. We here for entertainment power, to relieve what we don't need and to replace it with the magic of being yourself and to become super, just like Blanca. She is extraordinary human being because she puts adults in a way that they have to take another look in their life. What's important? And according to law, of life the most important things is being alive 
So once you're being alive, so let's enjoy, let's learn. And like Natan said, make educational, transformational. So both people is a good example of your mind is a constant move, is a constant tunnel of being excellent. So I call them both super, super. Uh, Tana Marshall chimed in and said she loves your executive nap suggestion for the record. Now, Lana, you're, you're absolutely right, is we have to enjoy life. We have to, we have to embrace it. And, and I agree with that. I've always agreed. I've always said life is short. Grab it. Carpe diem. You know. But you're waiting for somebody else uh, somehow igniting it. Me? I ignite me. Uh, and I teach people how to ignite yourself. Because nobody can do a better job than you. I've definitely looked at that a lot lately. I've been looking at that as far as what you're really saying is at the end of the day, we have to entertain ourselves. We have to ignite, ignite our ignite. Ignite. That's mean feel it, vibrate, emotionally be present, create magic. Everything in one day. Because you know, like Jewish people say, the entire life is only one day. So another day is another life. And are you there? And if you are, Lechaim, celebrate for life. I and I, I really like Natan ideas that discovery of your own brain. Natan learned every day millions of things. And I look at it as, you know, like an old way people say, oh, you have to do one and do it really well. Natan does everything well. Whatever, whatever he... I wish. I mean, <laughs> no, he decided to create a musical instrument, for God's sakes. And he did. And he came to my birthday and he... He was singing on an instrument I never seen in my life before. And it was music. Holy moly. So there is no end. And there is a world is your oysters. People, you know, I just want you to know that I'm really celebrating both of you, you Blanca and you Nathan. Why? For ability to enjoy maximum, to create and bypass all sorts of problems I don't know, irritability in life that other people blind, like they put their blinds in, say, oh, I don't see it. No, you see it because you're very clever. You're both very clever people. You see it, but you prefer not visualize it. It's just bypass the critical point. Keep on going. Don't even look back. Remember like in ancient stories when they have all this, what happened many years ago? As you go forward, don't look back because the troubles are there. Still that now, no change. Whatever it passed, it's as if you smoke finished. It's ashes, nothing but. There is, and so will be our life. As we go through, let's enjoy, let's multiply. Let's do everything possible in every single day because that's so precious. We're born, we're here, we feel it. We're emotionally engaged. So therefore, we have a footprint in our brain and we have responsibility to leave it to others. So therefore, magic is within. Ignite yourself every single day. Don't wait for somebody entertainment. Yeah, of course, when you're tired and you fully say, hey, I'm going to go for a walk and turn a magical music or turn some funny movie or sit down and learn a new joke and say to somebody who could laugh or have a like a pillow fight. I do that. And you're, it, you're, so right. you're so right. You're so right. We have to keep igniting our soul. And, and that's why I say that I think growing up, it's so important to teach the kids to do what they love. And the time you said that too was very telling. It wasn't until you started doing what you loved. And I think I heard you correctly, that you felt the money in your pocket. It didn't feel satisfying when you were doing the insurance it feels satisfying what you're doing now so what's your opinion on that lana does someone have to do what they love in order to be aligned energetically i have a love life which is really good for you for your show number one love what you do number two do what you love number three create to do what you love I agree. And you have you have to be 
the producer in your own life, you know, and almost like the director of your own production and you're the leading actor and you have to like the script and you have to like the supporting actors. Well, yeah. who's, whose movie is it? I'm curious. Is, is your movie literally not starring you? It, it's your <laughs> life. If it's not still in you, you might want to get recast. It's in you. <laughs> yes, it's going to star me. I'm going to act. I'm going to play me. You're going to play you. Lana's going to play herself. And John, your eyes, he's Blanca, play your himself. eyes. He's watching now, too. Blanca, your eyes just changed. You should see yourself. You look like a kid again. Like, yeah. it is so magnificent that you get light right through <laughs> like a diamond you know that we washed and they put a special solution of love or protection or magic and it's just right away oh my god that was diamond i thought it was a crystal ha ha same with the eyes of humans ha ha now let me ask you guys this question since you're my 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 senior advisors on mm -hmm. life energy and everything magical and you're ours uh so the question is this let's say i spent three years filming my autobiography hmm. and only 50 people watched it is it worth it if you filmed it to your own brain to clear your passages yes but if you film it for money no because people Nathan taught me one thing. It's not how much you know, but how much you care. And I live with it. I really took it in and I appreciate my baby who said the most wisest thing. It's not how much you know. And I know enormous because I study constantly books everywhere in my place. Always from being a baby. I start from two. Nathan starts reading from two. It's like it's being norm for me to get information, to get knowledge. And the funny thing that Tom sometimes said, no, put, put books away, come to people. And then sometimes I need to hide from people. You know, it's funny what you just said, because my I just got a new virtual assistant. And for her, when um, I got introduced to it, there was like a one minute recording. And she tells you about herself and what she does and stuff. And at one point in the recording, she said, now, look, I believe it's not how much you know. It's... Until people really get to see how much you care, they don't care how much you know. Do you agree? And I'm like, oh, how neat. She's going to work out great with me. So that's my new assistant. So it's funny that you mentioned that. <laughs> that's then I never forget the things that you taught me. I never forget. There is a wisdom. There is an essence. You're the persona who let a lot of people talk and listen to a lot of people. But once you take something in, it's a tunnel vision. And I really uh, treasure that. I find you, um, like, you know, I, I remember when you were in the high school, I really wanted to know, how do you study without going to university and just being done? Excellent. Wow. And so when I took you to get IQ, it was 156, and I kind of thought, hey, now I got it. So, of course, from that time forward, I listen very well when you talk. That's mm -hmm. life. Wow, that it's wonderful how the two of you collaborate with one another and help one another. And you're on you're on really on this new journey with the Essential Academy. And in a way, you have brought formalization to Lana's program through the Essential Academy. Do you agree with that, Natan? He evoke me, provoke me, and install life sense to me because he said it's not how much you know, but how much you care give it how, how do you think that obviously Svetlana is a massive expert with 30 years of medical hypnotherapy experience how did your platform breathe light into lana's wisdom there's two areas that most people that have education experience and expertise are lacking in because of ego because of imposter syndrome because of perfectionism and those areas really traditionally fall into either technical or promotional, and sometimes both. Sometimes you don't know how to create the courses, the landing pages, the beautiful email scriptures, the strategy, the Facebook ads, the campaign, the logic, the beginning, the middle, and the end of what that looks like. And that's okay. You didn't go to school for that. How would you? You don't know what you're doing. Why would you? And then on the other side is, okay, you know what? 
I spent a lot of time. I spent a lot of money. I've created courses. I've created programs. I've got these professionally edited videos and I've got this evergreen webinar funnel. However, I don't actually make any money. This isn't working. It's not doing anything. And I'm like, it's great. You just need a whole bunch more new people to see it. And you clearly don't know how to do the promotional side. So for promotional side, we have a dozen internal instructor only events a month. We have a dozen external uh, events that go to other platforms and joint venture agreements and networking events so that you get a chance to go, Hey, I'm super wicked. Awesome. Here's what I do. And you sell what's on your.com. You sell what's on the truck, or you come over and you make some stuff at the org and you sell what's on our educational platform and you promote yourself and you stand on stages, ours, yours, and then we help you create your own unique ones. It's, it's phenomenal. The, the, the level and the number of events that the Academy offers to help you connect with the other instructors, because all of those things are important. And one subcategory of the promotional is networking. You've got to network and build relationships. And that to me is such a great uh, value that you also offer uh, through the platform. So let's go back to the topic of we've talked about sleep. We've talked about physical pain. Um, why does hypnotherapy help someone love themselves more, Lana? How does that work? You know, one of the part of the NLP that I teach and or medical hypnosis, it's autogenic training. I did that with the Cirque du Soleil clients. And, and so some of them, like all the elite coaches, they come in, like all the elite people are super for mastering uh, medical hypnosis. And I think the easiest way in when they don't have time before they go to bed, they just need autogenic training. So you close your eyes, you relax, you find total relaxation, get rid of whatever the bras, whatever, bother you, no bother. <laughs> and you say, my arms and legs are heavy and warm. My heartbeat is calm and regular. My breath is free and easy. My forehead is cool, chill, free of everything. It's not important my name right now, that I'm somebody's mom, somebody's wife, somebody's daughter. I am me. I am me. I am super me. And my mind is quiet and still. I am recharging my battery as if I'm plugging my phone to the electricity. And I have Instagram to God. Please recharge me right now. And I'm peacefully allowing my intuition voice to be replenished. So all my training, as you see, with a different side of voice and allowing people to accept healing, number one, it's like a bath of energy that you replace, that you do, allow me to be energetic after. That's what I do as well. It takes how long? Nothing. One minute, two minutes. You can be in the bathroom and do it. Doesn't matter. You can lay down as long as you close your eyes so your mind gets off the subject of the do you think do you think that someone can learn how to do this solo or do you think that it's more effective with you or natan or a coach and it's I'm fantastically it's fantastically rewarding to be with elite coach on that it is so it's like a rainbow you see compared to one color it's what do you think natan is it better alone or with a coach is this something because just looking at my own experience, it just isn't the same when I'm not with you guys. I can't get to the same level of relaxation as I can with you. But what do you think, Natan? Ultimately, all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. So if I say, close your eyes and picture an apple, and you say, no, well, that's the end of it. I don't have any magic powers. I don't get to wave my arms and, and do something to you. No, no, but if no, no. you say yes, and say, okay, I'll close my eyes, I'll picture this apple. I can make you taste it, touch it, eat it. We can distill it into apple martinis. We can do so many things in your mind. There's a time that I was on stage as a stage hypnotist, took a glass of water, convinced the person on stage that this was pure vodka. They got hot. They got red. They sweated. They stumbled. They fell down. They were drunk as a skunk. Oh, he was so funny. Oh, that was incredible shows he was doing. Oh, my God. Wow. That, that's 
That's amazing. But then we went the other way around and gave somebody this much vodka. Like we opened up a bottle, poured this much vodka, drank it, and told him it was water. And they went, that was so refreshing. Thank you so much. And then we just kept coming back throughout the show to watch them. Are they getting hot? Are they getting sweaty? Are they falling down drunk? Because that was enough to get anybody drunk immediately. No. It's what you perceive. It's that concept. Your mind realized. So. So why does hypnotherapy help people stop smoking? I mean, that that's a, do, is that a fact that hypnotherapy can get you to You're stop smoking? Focus. You clear passage. You refocus. You focus somewhere else. Because when you smoke, you you're feeling so sorry for yourself, or you wanted to hide somewhere, or you want to uh, like you want to transfer your responsibility somewhere else. But when you stop, you say, "Hey, I am that. I like I don't know. Uh, maybe it's not the right word, but I'm the shit. I am the best. I know how, and that is what it is. Now stopping doing some." Um, some stupid habits is so rewarding for human being and adult practice been done to, I mean, surgeons, they do it because they said, I want to get away from that. I want to just forget what I had five minutes ago. When you want to hide, you do that. But when your footprints on the brain regularly clear, like I was saying, do mantra, do your warm up, do your optogenic training, Create a great music for a moment when you walk. I, when I, the moment I walk out with the pulse, I turn audio books, tons of books, like the, the, the new ones, the old ones, the stuff. And I think I'm so lucky. I have right now one hour that I work out and I listen to the knowledge that I would have to sit down, not move like an old age and just read it. So how lucky can we get? Multiply your choices, create it, move, move, move forward. Experience, sensory experience does not stay. If you're stable, you like a uh, flow. I like that. Multiply your choices, multiply your sensory experiences. Yes. And otherwise, you like a frog in the pond. You stay in the same place. No, no. Take a cruise. Move. So you ha you really do have to stay moving. You have yes, to yes. stay physically. Ignite yourself. Move mentally yourself. Mentally active. Active. You got to be active on every single level. Otherwise, you become, you almost, you, you're not expanding. Activity creates expansion and open of the mind and tranquility. And smell, smell, create and smell the aroma that you create in life. That means you use special spice. What do you eat today? How much did you relax today? Did you took a shower today? Did you smell wonderful? You know, it's not about perfume, but about your unique aroma that you produce today. Because whenever you stress, gee, you smell sour. Trust me, I smell my husband who's the executive, executive in many ways. And whenever I say, oh, you need a shower. And that is only smell stress. The moment stress out, it smells like sweet. A little bit chocolatey, a little bit tobacco, a little bit like all that incredible aromas that ah uh, drives me nuts. For I love people. it. That now let's shift. We have five minutes left, and I want to ask you: What are your nutritional rituals? What do you eat? What do you drink? What do you recommend to our audience to help elevate their energy? Velocity and transform yourself. From whatever, ah, ask only one question every morning. This is what I want, and this is what I have. In the middle, do they connect? Uh, because if you want something from yourself more than yesterday, and you do have to want something always a little bit extra today than you had yesterday, because you grew, because you change, because you know. So you ask from yourself nutritional balance today as never before and you ask yourself am i ready to be super today i am so for that reason what do i do like me whenever i have a long uh, and i do have a long hours at the in um, enterprise and whatever it takes to be with people i take chlorophyll and water it is a, a minty flavor, but it's like a blood transfusion. So whenever you use your energy, 
you replace it. So when you drink pure water, first of all, it flushes you. And the chlorophyll, it's as if you have a blood transfusion. You go right back into being normal. So in some form, you're not losing the energy. Mm. I love it, L'chaim. And speaking of L'chaim, which means, for those of you who don't know, it's a life, um, a beautiful Hebrew toast. What is your number one law of life? Love is all you need. I am with John Lennon in it. With love, you can discover, you can create, you can love yourself, you can reconstruct, you can recharge, you can even redo whatever the destiny happens to you before, during, and after. So if you have love, that's the key. The gold, beautiful key to life is love, nothing but. When we're lucky in love at home, we are not only in trouble, we are miserable. How can we give power to somebody else? And again, when you're full of love, you are so astonishingly beautiful for, with whatever you got because God created a package. And that package is not changeable. This package is you from above. And so it's got to be gorgeous. It's got to be beautiful. And it's got to be extraordinary because it's yours. So if you learn to love you, if you learn to love what you do, like I said, love what you do, do what you love, create to do what you love that's it you're done you are love and you brought so much love into my life and the time you've lit up my life yet again it's only the beginning and we're I, gonna oh, love you love i love you lana i love you the time i love everybody out there watching and supporting johnny regan and Tana Marshall, thanks for tuning in. And everyone else that's liking and following, please Learn share. and practice in a relaxed state of mind to be your super best. That's right. So let's elevate Lana today, our guest of honor. Love, comment, and share this video. And if you have a friend that is in physical pain, mental pain, sleeping problems, self-love, think of Lana. Think of her amazing course. Think of Natan and all the resources that he offers through the Essential Academy and join the family because that's what this is. It's a family. Join the Laws of Life. Join the Essential Academy. Support all the instructors. Support yourself. Support your friends. Keep spreading the love. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you so much. You're like a circle that floats around me Keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you tied a rope to me You're blessing me every day I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine with your reflection on me Getting back up on my feet That you